We're gonna make over my niece's dorm room with a bunch of really inexpensive Amazon finds that are totally removable so at the end of the year, you could take these off and you won't have to pay for your security deposit. I want to create a space that's really cozy and inviting, but a really fun spot that she could hang out in, but also she could do her homework and just have some relaxing time for herself. Today I am in my niece's dorm room, which I have been so excited to make over. And she's been living here for four months and it's pretty much a blank slate. And she's got half the semester to go still. And I think we can do something really special to really spruce it up because it needs some Hannah's happy home magic. So I think the first thing I'm gonna start with is this fun neon light. And by the way, I picked her out for the day because I wanted to be a surprise for her. Lights are going to be a big part of setting the vibe for this room and I love this. It just says good vibes and when it lights up, it's like this bright pink color so it's perfect for a girl's dorm room. And I stuck it up using command strips. Okay, so I got these like hanging twinkle lights. Probably get on my toes and reach but I'm going to hang them like in this corner here so her bed is like a vibe. Um, and I'm going to use these command hooks. I used really tiny command hooks so that the string lights could hang on to them. Okay, I just started to unwrap these a little bit, but isn't that the cutest little effect for our dorm room? Like the twinkling lights? Okay, so a quick note on how to unwrap this. So you see this, cause I got this all tangled up, so I'm just gonna show you. So you just unwrap, this is a light. I thought it was like gonna be a twist tie or something. So you unwrap this first. Okay, now unwrap from the top down. Don't pull from the bottom. So this is what I mean. So literally, once you get this unwrap, just take the end out, okay? Unwrap from the top. So pull from the top and just go down, okay? I want to have the lights up because now I'm gonna put up some more decals in this area. And I can see better like how the room is really starting to Hello. Before I headed to my niece's dorm room, I knew I was going to make some peel and stick decals using my Cricut machine. So I designed those and cut those out beforehand. And I'm also using this peel and stick decal paper from Cricut, which I think is really great. It's going to be an easy solution to make these wall decals and something that she can peel off at the end of the year. Okay, so I'm not sure if you can see all the shapes, but you can see the flower outline, there's a smiley face, and two hearts. Adding these decals to the wall is just like peeling off a giant sticker, so I'm just sticking them onto the wall. This is looking so cute already. She also has a little desk area that I wanted to add some decals to, just so that when she's studying, it brightens up that space too. Next, I'm tackling this fridge. So I have this idea that I'm gonna cover up these stickers and make it look like a Squishmallow. Every dorm room needs a mini fridge and she got this off Marketplace, but it was just screaming frat boy to me. So I knew I had to make it girly and super cute. I got this little shag rug because I feel like every girl's room or dorm room needs a little bit of coziness. Can you see it getting bigger? <laughs> the room is really coming together. I bought a set of these sheets with the pom poms. I thought it would really just add to the kind of fun of the room. These sheets that, that she has are not bad, but I like these because they've got these little pom poms here. Okay, and then that's the pillowcase and then the bedspread does too. So I think that's cute, easy for her to wash. They've got three rows of the pom-poms. So that's great for any little girl's room or a teen girl room too. Okay, and I like, I like that this has a zipper enclosure. I find that these are just easier to work with than the ones that button up. You put the duvet down first and then the blanket on top. Um, the zipper side goes at the bottom. Check this out, cause this is like magic. So you actually put the comforter on top and then you roll it so that it's rolling towards the bottom of the duvet.
Okay, when you get to the bottom, you take the open end of the duvet and you flip it over the entire thing and then you basically like turn it inside out. Okay, so let's do this. And there it is, voila. I think this is the easiest way to put on any duvet and every teen or young adult should know this. Super cute pillowcase. There we go. So I love this avocado stuffy. I actually think the size is so good. Like if you compare it to my face, it's a very big size. So it would be great for a kid or a teen's room. I like the colors, like the kind of softer green with a brighter green here. And then, you know, obviously it's got the cute face, um, little dangling legs. So it looks really cute when it's sitting. You could also hang it. It's got, you know, if you like to hang things on your windows, like that could be really cute as well. Really soft and plush material. So there it is. If you can see it's on the bed, it's super cute. So that's how all the bedding looks when it's been put on. I think it looks really cute, nice and fresh. Really nice for a girl's room. And I think this shag rug just looks great. It's super soft. And you can see it has really fluffed up really nicely. And it's a good size, you know, to put right beside a twin bed. Okay, I'm gonna go get Isa because I think we need to capture her reaction. She was just sitting in her living room studying for like the last four hours as I took over her room. So let's see how she likes it. Go ahead, go ahead, look. <laughs> oh, it's so cute. Do you like it? Yeah. Oh, I like everything. My favorite thing are the lights. Which one, the fairy lights? Both. Okay. And then you got your new stuffy. <laughs> <laughs> so remember this is what the dorm room looked like before and we didn't change anything major in here I didn't change the bed or the furniture I just added some twinkle lights and wall decals and here's how it looks now this is so cute I think this is just such a perfect dorm room without breaking the budget it just took me a couple of hours to do so I think that this is a space that you know any young woman would love to hang out bring her friends over and just make it really cozy especially since she'll be missing her family I love how this came out and all these little updates that I made were so inexpensive and affordable so I will link everything below. If you're watching this video and you're nervous to go off to college, my one piece of advice would be to just have faith in yourself and that everything will be okay. Not every class is going to be perfect. You might not get the best grades, but just have faith in yourself because you are resilient and you will have a great time.